Uh, thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Treasurer. And the action I'm seeking is, along with many probably of my colleagues here, but also the community, is for the Victorian Government to increase IBAC's funding in the next budget. And the increase needs to be by at least 10 million a year. In 2018-19, IBAC's funding increased by 1.5 million. Goodness gracious, that's an increase of about 2.5 per cent after inflation. Unfortunately, corruption in our community is not increasing with inflation. It is far more exponential than that. Um, we've seen Robert Red Redlick, the QC Commissioner of Victoria's Independent Broad-Based Anti-Corruption Commission, saying that they just don't have the resource to invest, investigate a growing list of tasks. In fact, he goes on to claim that they, their recurring funding hasn't increased since 2012. Now, I'm not, no doubt, I'm not the first person to raise this in this chamber. And I, I think somewhat interestingly, it was um, in looking back, uh, I note that the former shadow Labor treasurer, when he was a shadow, Mr John Lenders, also asked for um, urgent reform and funding to IBAC. Uh, of course, of course, um, much of IBAC's funding was spent later on investigating um, Mr Lenders. And it will continue to investigate these sorts of rorts. And so this is not a bipartisan position. Uh, but what we're seeing is that IBAC is getting in consumed by these large-scale corruption, whether it's Adam Somurek or Red Shirts, or possibly even the Liberal Party might be up on the list next. Uh, but it's not... But we need to be seeing... But but this list is going to continue to grow, and we know that some of those areas where we do need investigation, when we're hearing that the police are saying, when 10 per cent of the police believe that, they, that the police are corrupt and they can't afford to do the proper um, investigations into police, we have a problem here. So the action, and I think it's a simple action, and I think it's a, an action that should be supported by everyone in this chamber, and certainly I know it's supported by the community, is for IBAC's funding to be increased.